Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on rationalized denominator. Rationalized denominator is a mathematician's way to make things look prettier on the denominator. Okay, the reason we want to do that is actually stem from the radical denominator. Way before the calculator comes in, because it's really hard to calculate 1 over radical 2, because 1 over radical 2 is equal to 1 over 4.14, so on and so forth. With that calculator, I actually use this thing called slide rule. It's really difficult. But if you rationalize the denominator, making the denominator into a pretty number, a real pretty number, then you have an easier division. It's 1.414 divided by 2, which is, can be easily calculated. Okay, so that adequacy, mathematically speaking, follows us through when we're dealing with radical signs that's uh, with a real number in the front. So what we're going to do is multiply what we call the conjugate. We're just going to reverse the center sign. If it's a plus, then you multiply by minus and vice versa. The reason we want to do that is if you have a plus b times a minus b, you have a squared minus b squared. I tell my student this is kind of like a sibling rule. This is a related brother and sister. It's equal to the difference of the square. So if you had done that, then on the bottom we have 5 squared minus radical 3 squared. That's a such pretty number when you do that. Now on the top, let's just write it down for now, and then we will have to open it up or using FOIL. On the bottom, we have 25 minus 3, which is 22. Much prettier number than 5 plus radical 3, what we had before. Okay. And then when you multiply this one, I like to teach my student to write it on the side. There's no reason you should squeeze everything in there. And on the test especially, you end up losing points when you squeeze things. Okay, so we're going to do over hat, underbelly, or you can call it a foil. First outside, inside last. But that's kind of boring. Okay, hat, underbelly. All right, so what we're going to do is 15 minus 3 radical 3 minus 5 radical 3 and then plus 3. Add it together, I have 15 minus 8 radical 3 plus 3. So I have 18 minus 8 radical 3. Since the bottom is a 22, it's also an even number, we're going to have a 2 pulled out. So I have 9 minus 4 radical 3. Cancel this out, I have 11 on the bottom. See, isn't that prettier, 11? Better than 5 plus radical 3. And radical 3 is not a pretty number. Radical 3 in decimal form is 1.732, so on and so forth. All right, well, this is how we solve rationalized denominators. I hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this video and let me know if you liked it or if it helped you. Till next time, have a confident day.